famous. They go, you got to go to the, the, the clone lab. Sierra has been cloned. They know she is very talented dancing while she ain't a, no type of singer, but she can dance. She's been cloned. That's not the real Sierra. She's under hypnosis. She's been chipped. They have made three, four different Sierras. They did the same thing with Janet Jackson. She's been chipped and cloned too. They keep them around because they keep making revenue from them, making money. When you have sex with Janet Jackson, you're meeting her representative. That's why y'all better, men, y'all better stop being attracted to the big old booties and big breasts. I'm just telling you, if you better come with a spiritual uh, perspective, because these women, they're not who they say they are. They're representative of cloning labs, and they're looking for righteous brothers to bring back to the lab to experiment on. And then they wipe your brain clean. The, the point I'm making is that once they put that chip on you, they get you to do anything. Okay. MLK equals clone. Every rich person has a clone. Now, I know a lot of y'all saying, well, what if you was in a franchise and you made money? Would they come after you? You cannot be rich in this world without being a part of the Illuminati or being cloned. You cannot have $5 million in your bank and not be a part of the brotherhood. I don't care if you own a chicken joint, a laundromat, if you if you got a car lot, you are not going to have that type of money and you're not going to be a part, part of their program. They, This is how they get you, man. I said it prior. They always want to invite you somewhere. And most of the time, they'll pay for it. And you're going to go for it because, you know, man, I must be all right. They're paying for everything, room and board. It's in the food. They're going to serve you. Uh, uh, they're going to they're going to put it in your drink. And if you person say, I don't want nothing to eat that night. And you just say he ain't eating. He ain't drinking nothing either. They got plan B. They're going to have a beautiful girl bump up against you. She has a little needle that's going to feel like a mosquito bite. But that's a that's just like a pin, a, a, like a needle head. She's going to hit you with. That's going to knock your ass out within 60 seconds. You see all that James Bond shit. That shit exists, man. And while you're sleeping, they put a chip in your neck, your head, or whatever they decide to put it, and you become MLK. And if you're real valuable and smart, they're going to clone you and take the real you and put you away and let your clone act like you. Okay? It's not an entertainment, music industry, sports thing. It's everywhere. If you're a person that came out with a software that generated millions of dollars, they're coming after you. Remember that dude that made Flappy Bird or whatever that thing was called? He was getting 56 million downloads a day. They came after him. He said he ain't going to do it no more. He pulled it, remember y'all? He pulled it because he was getting too much attention. The money was coming in like crazy. They drafted him and said, you're going to work for us. They made him come back. And they put him on the hip. He was fighting, but they, they met him. He went out to meet or whatever. He said he didn't want no part of him. They shot him up with some shit. He came back under hypnosis. And now they pipping his brain to make other software. He works for them now. He's in the clone lab and they let him go home. A lot of times when you hear about people that's dead, they're not dead. Gaddafi never died. Gaddafi clone died. But he never died. Okay. What makes them want to clone you? A person that's all over YouTube. You know, you're becoming famous. People listening to you. And if you notice, these dudes are proud, man, poofed up. They they love the spotlight. They like being on everybody's channel. They put on a little decoration. They six point star. First of all, when you see a six point star on any man that's preaching to supposedly be the righteous, he's already under hypnosis because six point star uh, is, is the indication of Judaism, which is Judaism. There's nothing righteous about a six point star. So when you see any man that calls himself Hebrew Israelite with six point stars, he's working for the Illuminati. He's an undercover clone agent and he's trying to start a damn war amongst Hebrew Israelites and Kemet because on the Kemet side, they're doing the same thing, too. And these people, are, they don't really give a shit because they're getting paid. But a lot of them are unaware of what they're doing because they've been chipped. I know y'all don't want to believe, man, they ain't chipping, they ain't chipping camps. No, they just want, that's a particular person they want out of that camp. That's who they want to chip because he's going to lead the masses that believe in him. Another guy who's been chipped is Professor Griff. This is why he can get on, talk a lot of shit and tell so much truth and tell so many lies. 
Come on, man. When Alex Jones gave his book, uh, not Horatia, <laughs> when Alex Jones pumped his book up, I knew that they had already got to him. He's on the MLK. Okay. Uh, Alex Jones also been chipped. You understand? So, where, if they get to where they don't want to be a part of that no more, they'll cut their chip off and they'll just start having eternal pains. <clears throat> Speaking of pain, Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac was killed, man. <laughs> Let me just explain this. Bernie Mac sold his soul. They don't even let you see things like this until you sell your soul. So when Bernie Mac uh, got that show, he had sold his soul. The Bernie Mac show. Then he started getting movies. But way before then, uh, he was just doing comedian. Didn't show Bernie nothing. When Bernie started getting his feet wet, they started taking him to Pandora. But his mind was blown. But then they put him under the oath where he won't talk. You know, throw the goat up here and there. Put your hands in pyramid. That's the oath. So as Bernie started making more money, his name became a household name. They started taking Bernie to the clone lab because there is a thing called clone lab and they all over. The, they're not just in America. They're all over the world. All right. Um, they control them anywhere. Rich folks. They, 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 and they're, they're always in places you never think they are. It's like it could be a desert like nothing exists. And, it, and it's this one fucking pond of water or, or some old trees. That's usually where it's at. It's underground. They got it, man. It's just like. It's just like the movies. They tell you the truth in the movies. So nevertheless, Bernie Mac was introduced to the clone lab. They, they take you there. They took him there. They let him see the, the fights. At first, he thought it was cool. You know, uh, it was like eyes wide shut. They screwing in front of you. They doing bizarre things, man. Bestiality. You're going, damn, right? But the part that tripped him out, how they showed him. They literally showed him how they clone people. They take the real person and put them off to the left and make two more of you. It blew his mind. Just like they did the dogs, the fish, they, all of that. He was like, wait, 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 I'm tripping. That ain't a real person. Then they start, you know, they stab the person to make you see they bleed. They're real. And they can feel that pain. You understand? So his mind is blown. Now, he done been a couple of times and... The only time they would be willing to put you in shackles so you don't talk if he's not bringing revenue. But Bernie Mac is funny as hell. Bernie Mac bringing a lot of money. So they said, go on, let him make movies. He ain't going to say nothing. He knows what, know what's good for him. And who's going to believe him anyway, right? So this was heavy on Bernie, very heavy on him. But they already had him chipped. Once they take you to the clone lab, you have to get chipped. Steve Harvey is chipped. Oprah's chipped. D.L. Hughley is chipped. Said entertainers. That's why they don't say nothing. And this is what happened to Bernie. When Bernie started to have these conversations, they can hear everything he's saying. So they made him go into pain more. So they can put your body in pain. He's still, oh, I'm hurting, I'm hurting, I'm hurting. So Bernie had a talk with Steve Harvey, uh, D.L. Hughley, and said entertainer because he believed he could talk to them. Like, man, we got to tell somebody about this shit, man. Cloning people? They advise them, hey, man, this shit been going on since the 40s. We're going to make our money. Steve Harvey, big lip ass, right? So Bernie was really adamant about it. It was heavy on his head. So Bernie did the king. They let him do that tour. He came back. He still was cool. But shortly thereafter, he did a movie with, I believe, with Samuel Jackson. I ain't for sure. And he was still good, but shortly after that movie got done, he kept bringing it up. So Steve goes and rat him out. Well, they, all, they knew what he was saying, but Steve was like, he's becoming a problem. So they hold a meeting without Bernie. And they ask D.L. Hughley the same things. Hey, what, what, y'all, what is he saying? He's saying that we got to, you know, we got to expose this. Okay. They amped his chip up. Because the chip controlled every vital sign in your body, Bernie got real sick, went to the hospital. And they knew what was going on. Steve Harvey knew, D.L. Hughley knew, said the entertainer knew that they ratted him out and he knew that death was coming. They knew death was coming. Bernie wasn't assured at the present time, but when he started getting real sick, he said, these motherfuckers doing this to me. But Bernie did tell his wife what was going on and she'd been scared shitless ever since. And 
they didn't want him to tell her too much. So they turned it all the way up and killed him while he was in the hospital. And they didn't have to be there. They did it by remote control. That's how cloning works. And that's how the, uh, the chip work. It works by remote. So somebody could have been acting like a janitor or acting like they dare to see their loved one could have been sitting in a weight room and hit the remote to turn his chip up to send him to fatal, which is death. That's how Bernie Mac left here. Being ratted out by Steve and D hell. All them niggas so fake, man. Oh, if I come to you because we just did the King's economy, I feel like I can talk to you because Bernie wasn't kissing Steve ass. All them doing just kiss Steve ass. So Bernie have a man. The man say, man, you think that shit right? Look, man, this is Steve. Look, man, whatever they doing, we ain't got nothing to do with that. Like my mama always say, mind your business. And all of them co-signing DL and uh, said the entertainer. Yeah, Steve, you're right, man. Steve, you're right. And here go D.L. Higley. I understand what you're saying, Bernie. But at the same time, man, they've been doing this shit since the, the 40s. We, we, I mean, for us to put our nose in that, man, we got to check. We got to feed our family. All that type of shit. Beware of a nigga that always get that hot, hot what, alto voice. That's a nigga you don't want to trust. But Bernie, it was weighing on him because they kept inviting him back to uh, the, the clone lab. He kept literally seeing people die before his eyes. And if you want to know what I'm talking about, rent the movie Hostel. It may be kind of hard to find, but you probably you probably can see it for free on the Internet. Just Google Hostel. And everything that you see in that movie is what they do in the clone lab. And he was watching this. He was like, man, this is crazy. Right. Whitney Houston. She also had to pass away because she got tired. She didn't want to do it no more. Um, she was chipped. All they did is cut her chip off and they put a face down in the water. Bobby Christina was chipped too. They killed her the same way. Now, to let us know that Bobby Christina's death was um, not an accident, but it was a ritual, they took Bobby Christina out the damn uh, Hertz or whatever the damn car was, right? And they, they was going to will, they got ready to will her body and to the morgue or whatever it was a church. I don't know what exactly the place was, but to let us know that it was an actual ritual, they had two Egyptian unks out there. I don't know if y'all peep game. They did the same thing with Whitney Houston. Now you telling me that this was an accident and now they're saying it's a boyfriend that didn't know he's a fall guy. And by the way, they already done shot him up with some MLK. He's totally submissive. Have y'all been hearing about these doctors? The doctor that found the cure for cancer, the doctor that's found the cure for measles and, and all these other MMR. Yeah, they found a, a cure for MMR because it's man made anyway. The doctors, they've been killing them. Why are they killing these doctors? Number one, the doctors don't want to be a part of this uh, cloning. Uh, they didn't want to be a part of not telling the public that there's a cure for cancer. They found a cure, man, for cancer. One of the doctors got ready to reveal it. They killed him before he could do it. They found a cure for MMR. They give kids autism. Did y'all know this? And they've been killing these doctors one by one. And all of these doctors didn't want nothing to do with the cloning lab. They was totally against it. They all got ready to speak on it. And they uh, they pretty much killed them off because a lot of doctors that are high end been chipped. A lot of these doctors that's been getting killed, they have the chip in them. The MLK is nothing but cloning. And they've been they got the chip in the back of their neck or their forehead, whatever. And when they get out of pocket and they don't do what they're supposed to do, they cut their chip off and they die of a heart attack, aneurysm, however you say that word, and or some type of craziness that they can blame it on anything. Um, a lot of y'all want to say, well, did Pimp C get cloned? No, Pimp C was killed. He didn't want to clone him. They don't want it. They didn't like him no way. So, no. Um Elvis Presley didn't die in that casket. Elvis Presley was under a drug of hypnotic that took him, that paralyzed his body for, what, four to six hours. And he was removed and lived underground. Okay? Like Adolf Hitler, he was, they cloned that. Adolf Hitler never died. He died in Brazil of old age. Steve Jobs didn't die when they said he died. They cloned him. Uh, Steve Jobs was last seen in 2014 in Brazil. Still kind of sick because they can't stop the sickness. 
but he was still alive. Yes, they cloned Steve uh, Jobs, and they also cloned um, Warren Buffett. They cloned Microsoft man, Bill Gates. All them guys been cloned. So a lot of times, that's not necessarily the real Bill Gates. The real Bill Gates, they work in his brain to death in a lab. He ain't came up yet. He's, he's underground. He's, he's un See, when they put you under these deep hypnosis, you don't even be submissive. You just do what they tell you. Oprah Winfrey is on the MLK, and that's not the real Oprah. That's not the real Alicia Keys. That's not the real Lenny Kravis. Okay? Now, Chris Brown hasn't been cloned, but since he's been talking so much, they're going to clone him. And I believe they clone him when he's in the Philippines. But we'll see. <laughs> because Chris Brown is so outspoken, he may just tell it like it is if he can get in his right mind. But when Chris Brown was in the Philippines, they might have cloned him. Now, who is Chris Brown handler to get him cloned and chipped? Rihanna. Now, notice, notice, notice that Chris right now had when they start putting people around you every other day. That's not Chris Brown. That's a reptile in Chris Brown that that's controlling him. And in other words, that's a demigod. That's a demon of um, alien descent. But it's really reptile, uh, reptilia, which is like a um, lizard. But they have to live in human format. And we all know. How do you know that? Chris is a clone because he's going to have to have somebody with him 24-7. He can't be alone. Whenever a celebrity has to have somebody living with them and with them, that's because the clone can't work by itself. It has to have somebody with them. And what struck me really weird when uh, Rihanna said that she wants to be at Chris Brown's hearing when he gets ready to do his child support. I thought that was kind of weird. Rihanna is Chris Brown's handler. And she's been told that this this is not real Chris Brown. This is going to be his who? Cloning. I'm going to leave you all with this. Um, I, you know, I, I just don't know. Father, in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Father. Those of righteousness, let them stay righteousness. Those are who you're chosen that is written in seventh and never been revealed. Father, let them stay strong. I ask that I stay strong, that I stay diligent, that I live in this awful flesh body, but I always stay in the spirit. I ask that the children of Israel, who are Israelite descent of Negroes, may they have food to drink and that's it, right? Your food, water to drink and food to eat. But not all, Father, the ones that are standing up for you, they're sacrificing for you and giving your word to the best of their ability. Not the clowns that's dressing up in six point stars. I ask that you condemn them. They're not who they say they are, Father. They also have a chip. Okay? I ask in humbleness that the righteous come forward and that the chosen stay whom they are because they're already chosen by your seventh seal and it's, it's pretty much sealed and never been revealed on four corners of the earth. I ask these things in humbleness, Father, that all languages of people who love you will come together because... More than anything right now, Heavenly Father, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai Son, and your help us that sit to your right, Father, the heavenly archangels. We need you. We need you. These people may not see what I see, Father, but it is so heavy. It is so heavy to where it is time. It is time to smack them upside their head with death anxiety bloodline disasters famine whatever it takes father it is time to separate the chosen and the righteous and let them be strong together everything else wash to the side I will give you all this before I leave celebrities are trying to make friends with you that's why they come in on Facebook they come in on Twitter and they're trying to be friends with you guys and have you guys meet them certain places so they can have a get together because you've been so loyal. The celebrities also know about the sex torture, much like the movie Hostel. They, they watch the sex tortures. OK, notice everybody that becomes an entourage of a celebrity wind up being killed or, or, or never heard of again, kidnapped or whatever you want to call it. OK, 
they need friends and i've been saying this and i'll say this again the hit is females they're looking for a lot of females because these old decrusted nasty men wants to have sex with these women and then cut them up and eat them at a damn barbecue and i know that sounds pathetic but there's some men that can't eat food they want flesh take it any way you want it i hope this show enlightens some in the name of the father son holy spirit father the viperness is necessary father and if i'm wrong forgive me but if the viper stands the hell with them all that don't understand your comings famous they you got to go to the, the, the clone lab see era has been cloned they know she is very talented dancing while she ain't a, no type of singer but she can dance she's been cloned that's not the real sierra she's under hypnosis she's been chipped they done made three four different sierras they did the same thing with janet jackson she's been chipped and cloned too they keep them around because they keep making revenue from them making money when you have sex with Janet Jackson, you're meeting her representative. That's why y'all better, men, y'all better stop being attracted to the big old booties and big breasts. I'm just telling you, if you better come with a spiritual uh, perspective, because these women, they're not who they say they are. They're representative of cloning of Judaism, which is Judaism. There's nothing righteous about a six point star. So when you see any man that calls himself Hebrew Israelite with six point stars, he's working for the Illuminati. He's an undercover clone agent and he's trying to start a damn war amongst Hebrew Israelites and Kemet because on the Kemet side, they're doing the same thing, too. And these people, are, they don't really give a shit because they're getting paid. But a lot of them are unaware of what they're doing because they've been chipped. I know y'all don't want to believe, man, they ain't chipping, they ain't chipping camps. No, they just want, that's a particular person they want out of that camp. That's who they want to chip because he's going to lead the masses that believe in him. Another guy who's been chipped is Professor Griff. This is why he can get on, talk a lot of shit and tell so much truth and tell someone lies. Come on, man. When Alex Jones gave his book, uh, not Horatia, when Alex Jones pumped his book up, I knew that they had all labs and they're looking for righteous brothers to bring back to the lab to experiment on. And then they wipe your brain clean. The, the point I'm making is that once they put that chip on you, they get you to do anything. OK. MLK equals clone. Every rich person has a clone. Now, I know a lot of y'all saying, well, what if you was in a franchise and you made money? Would they come after you? You cannot be rich in this world without being a part of the Illuminati or being cloned. You cannot have five million dollars in your bank and not be a part of the brotherhood. I don't care if you own a chicken joint, a laundromat. If you if you got a car lot, you are not going to have that type of money and you're not going to be a part of their program. They, this is how they get you, man. I said it prior. They always want to invite you somewhere. And most of the time, they'll pay for it. And you're going to go for it because you oh man, I must be all right. They're paying for everything, room and board. It's in the food. They're going to serve you. Uh, they drafted him and said, you're going to work for us. They made him come back and they put him on the hip. He was fighting, but they, they met him. He went out to meet or whatever. He said he didn't want no part of him. They shot him up with some shit. He came back under hypnosis and now they pip in his brain to make other software he works for them now he's in the clone lab and they ain't let him go home a lot of times when you hear about people that's dead they're not dead Qaddafi never died Qaddafi clone died but he never died okay what makes them want to clone you a person that's all over YouTube you know you're becoming famous people listening to you 
And if you notice, these dudes are proud, man, poofed up. They they love the spotlight. They like being on everybody's channel. They put on a little decoration. They six point star. First of all, when you see a six point star on any man that's preaching to supposedly be the righteous, he's already under hypnosis because six point star uh, is is the indication. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna put it in your drink. And if you person say I don't want nothing to eat that night, and you just say he ain't eating, he ain't drinking nothing either. They got plan B. They're going to have a beautiful girl bump up against you. She has a little needle that's going to feel like a mosquito bite. But that's a that's just like a pin, a, a, like a needle head she's going to hit you with. That's going to knock your ass out within 60 seconds. You see all that James Bond shit? That shit exists, man. And while you're sleeping, they put a chip in your neck, your head, or whatever they decide to put it, and you become MLK. And if you're real valuable and smart, they're going to clone you. And take the real you and put you away and let your clone act like you. Okay? It's not an entertainment music industry sports thing. It's everywhere. If you're a person that came out with a software that generate millions of dollars, they're coming after you. Remember that dude that made Flappy Bird or whatever that thing was called? He was getting 56 million downloads a day. They came after him. He said he ain't going to do it no more. He pulled it. Remember y'all? He pulled it because he was getting too much attention. The money was coming in like crazy. 